we got an F1 Topps Chrome distribution box shipped to the house. That was 12 hobby boxes sealed, full of cards. Every pack has four cards, hundreds of packs. My fingers are in ruins, uh, but hopefully that'll give you guys and girls a really good understanding yet again of the products, um, the inserts, the rarity and the ratios of what you can expect through this product. Um, hopefully you can see the card up there. That's a really good review of the product. It will be in the description as well. So check that one out before you watch this. Um, and then you'll kind of see like the rare hits that we got. Um, so let's see what 12 sealed hobby boxes got us. Let's go. Yeah. I'm not going to bore you with the base cards. I'm not going to bore you with the cambers. I'm not going to bore you with the autos of 1954. I'm not going to bore you with the speed demons, right? Check out the uh, tutorial video we did on those, on those ratios. Um, obviously, we've got hundreds of them, right? I want to show you guys what 12 sealed hobby boxes got us. We'll start with the more uh, common inserts and we'll work our way all the way up uh, to some pretty amazing rips, one of ones uh, that we got through the product as well. So let's go ahead and start. Um, first of all, we are going to start with our, these are our checkered, um, checkered black and silver ones, right? So remember, these ones aren't numbered. This is the most common ratio you're going to get. Um, so we got a Ralph, uh, we got a uh, Alexander Olbon, we got a, a Yuki, uh, we got a Alonzo, and we got an Olbon again. We got a um, Sebastian Vettel, which was he's a great older driver. Uh, a, G a Jihan, Carlos Sainz, uh, who actually just took third place in Australia. If you're watching F1 right now, Max dropped out super early, right? So it was Max one, Max one. And then Ferrari, my favorite team, uh, actually took uh, P1 and P2, which I was super stoked about. Anyway, uh, another Max, uh, Sergio Perez, uh, Max Verstappen. Uh, we got an Enzo, Future Star, and uh, then we got a Bottas as well. So those are the super uh, common non-insert kind of cool looking. Again, I really like the, the design of these ones, right? I just, um, they're not numbered. Okay, so we'll get into our... Next, more common colorway. Away, these are uh, these are again not numbered, right? Got the old George Russell. We got Toto. Uh, we got uh, Richard. Uh, we got another uh, Stapp. Uh, we got a Kush, uh, and then we got another George Russell as well. Okay, moving on. We got some hits, by the way. So stay tuned to the end because uh, we got a couple of one on ones, uh, one of ones. Um, and a really, really cool uh, print card, um, which is kind of like a hidden gem. The ratio of those are nuts. It's essentially the metal that they use to print the cards. We got one of those, which is pretty cool. Okay, next colorway. Uh, we got the George Russell. Uh, we got the another Richard, uh, and then we got another Allborn as well. Going into the next one, these are our red and our greens. Uh, we got a uh, Dennis Holger, who's a future star, and a Zal. And then th this was the rarest non-numbered um, colorway that you can get. And that's an Oscar, which I was super stoked about. Um, obviously, he backs up Norris right now, but he's a rookie this year, by the way, in the set. Um, see the RC there, rookie card, right? So that's probably the driver you want to collect just because of there's 20 F1 drivers, right? Other than the big F2 chases. Um, if, you, if you're into this for investment purposes, I would be holding on to the Oscars uh, at all costs. So that's an Oscar rookie card. Stay tuned on that too, because we pulled some really good Oscar cards. Okay, let's get into our numbered cards. So these are our purple colorways. These are our slash 399s. Um, so we got a Frederick Bestie. Uh, we got a L goat himself, well, tied with Schumacher, right? What is it? Seven championships. He's going for his eighth. Just signed with Ferrari, I believe, for the 2025 season. So that's going to be super interesting. Um, we got a Zhao. Uh, we got Fernando Alonso. Uh, future star, we got a Jack. Uh, Jack Crawford. 
Uh, we got a Nico Hulkenberg. Hogan, um, we got another Yuki. Uh, we got Carlos. Uh, we got an Isaac. We got another Maxi Max. That one was the award winner when he won the world championship. Um, we got a Roy Nassani. Uh, we got a my favorite F1 driver, Charles Leclerc. Uh, and then we got a uh, Esteban Ocon as well. So those were our slash 399s. Okay, let's move on. These ones are slash 299s, right? And again, I love the design of this card. This reminds me a lot of like the Hyper Prism um, kind of sparkly ones, right? So we got a um, Enzo. We got a uh, Brad uh, Benavides, who I always butcher his name, uh, but he actually stepped up um, and drove for uh, Ferrari um when one of i think it was signs who was a, a scratch i mean he showed up really well so other than the oscars this is the other player that i would be collecting right now um if you're into the investment strategy of f1 uh, we got a sains another toto uh, we got a logan sergeant we got a lance stroll we got a ninza we got a clement Lando Norris, who came third in Australia, uh, and then we got a Jack Dohan. Again, super cool colorways, man. Like, I love the sparkly ones, and they're so high numbered, which is kind of crazy uh, to me. So let's go through the next ones. These ones are labeled through 250. Um, and again, check out the tutorial video, please, because this is going to show you all the ratios, the case hits, like... I think these are one in every 36 packs you're going to get. But some of the some of the ratios are absolutely insane. And that video will give you an amazing breakdown of everything you need to know if you're interested in uh, the tops 2024 Chrome Series. Okay, so we got another Enzo. We got another Oscar. What's up? Slash 250. Max Verstappen. 250. Remember what I said in the video? How many Maxes you're going to pull? Half the cards in the series are Max for Stappens. Okay, so I can get super stoked if you get a Max. There are so many of them. Uh, we got a David Coulthard. Stay tuned on that one too. We had a big, big, big one of him. Uh, absolute legend of the game. That's a slash 250 there. Uh, we got a Jack. Oscar, what's up? Formula's freshest. Where's the Rook? Rookie card slash 250. Super happy about that. Holding on to that. For sure, uh, we got a Bottas, we got another Max, uh, and a George Russell. Okay, so those were our slash 250s. Again, open 12 hobby boxes, you guys. So we got a lot of cards. You, sh you, sh you should have seen my floor. It looked like a complete bomb site. <laughs> my wife came inside and she's like, what are you doing? She couldn't even walk. On my floor there were so many packets okay anyway you guys don't give a crap about that uh, anyway let's go into our 199s okay so we got a charles leclerc came in second in australia uh we got a lance stroll uh we got a bruno who's taken over one of the hardest uh team principal jobs right now in my opinion in f1 he's under a lot of pressure uh we got a ralph Another maxi boy, Mike Crack, who is, again, he's in the hot seat too, um, and a Sebastian Vettel. By the way, Alfa Romeo, whoa, they are doing such a good job with their car, especially last season. Hopefully everyone's watched the recent series of Drive to Survive, because they really set the bar on what you can achieve in one year of constructors. Like, they were the envy of Mercedes. They were the envy of McLaren. Just the way they were able to tune that car. And I think that's a... I mean, Hamilton, Lewis Hamilton extended his contract, I think, for another two years. Um, but he was pissed because he made a bunch of comments to Mercedes that they didn't take into account. And I think that's a lot of the reason why he's going to go on to drive a Ferrari, which is going to be absolutely not seen him in red because he's been with Mercedes and Toto. I think since he was like 13 years old, right? Okay, so let's get into our slash 75s. Maxi boy, yet again. Oh, look, Max, yet again. 
And then uh, we got a Sergio Perez. And that one was chronicling when he won in Singapore in 2022. Those were our slash 75s. I think I super skipped. I did. Sorry. That is on me. I skipped two more common parallels. So we'll go through those really quickly. These are Aquas. These are the 150s. Uh, we got an Isaac. Uh, we got probably the GOAT. Michael Schumacher himself. Uh, we got an Arthur Leclerc, uh, who is Charles's younger brother. And we got a Ver uh, Alonso and, oh my God, who's that? Max Verstappen. Say it ain't so. Sorry, and here's our slash 99s. So, um, yes, we did skip because we just did our slash 75s. So yeah, I'm right. These are our 99s. Oh, Max Verstappen. I love the dude, but come on. So many. Uh, we got another. Oh, we got a Lewis, Lewis Hamilton slash 99. Big fan of Lewis. Um, and a Mick Schumacher slash 99 there as well. Not the best photo of him. Like, there's nothing like F1 y about that photo whatsoever. It just kind of looks like a guy is about to take his dog on a walk, but it is what it is. Okay, now we get into the cool stuff. Uh, these are our slash 50s. Um, so remember I said the Cambers, the Speed Demons, and the Autos of 1954, they all have variants as well. Um, for example, like this one, the Camber of Lewis Hamilton, that was a slash 25. That's what we pulled in the tutorial video. Um, but we've got a slash 50 now of um, Manziel, who's one of the greatest of all time. Uh, it's a slash 50, so that's pretty dope. Uh, we got a crack. I, I don't like pulling the team principles, to be honest, low numbered. And you're going to see why in a second, because we, we hit a red, which is a slash five. And unfortunately for us, it was a team principle. But anyway, let's continue. We got a crack. We got a uh, Jack Dohan. We got an Isaac slash 50. And then we got um, Maxi Boy yet again. OK, these are orange. These are slash 25s. We only hit two. We only hit two out of 12 hobby boxes. We got a Fernando Alonso. Um, and we got a Carlos Sainz. Slash 25. But that is a pretty card. That's a checkered, by the way. You're going to see like the regular kind of like orange wave, I think they call them. And then the regular orange checkered. The ratios are the same. In my opinion, one card looks way cooler than the other, right? one with the checkered, but the ratios and the numbers are the same. Okay. Now let's get into our, on paper, the slash five that we pulled, um, which on the numbered variants are the, are the rarest ones we can get. We pulled one red out of 12 hobby boxes. Um, and that was the James Vowles. So I love James. Like he's a big analytics guy. He's stepping into a really, really difficult position. Um, he was under Toto and Mercedes for so many years, um, and that's a four out of five of James Vowles. Um, weird dude as well, right? Like if you've watched Drive to, Drive to Survive, he uh, his interviews aren't great. I'll leave it at that because I don't want to shit talk, uh, smack talk good guy too much. Okay, so now we're going to get into our um, so I've got our super highlights here, and then I've got our semi super highlights here. Okay, so um, the, the tutorial video, I, I talked about the super short prints, the variants of the portraits, and then the variants of the celebrations. We did get one. Um, this is a botus. Um, so this was card 36. So if you, the regular 36 um, is going to look completely different. These are short prints, right? So they're worth a little bit more money. Um, and it's got a refractor like rainbow sheen on them. The dead giveaway, if you get an S, uh, a super short print, if it's an image variation or a celebration, it won't have refractor up there. Okay. So just be on the lookout because these are worth way more money. So if you just think you've got a common one out of three refractor, again, I, I said in the tutorial, but I'll say it again, just make sure it doesn't say refractor, then you want to hang on to it or sell it. But just price it appropriately right because they're worth a lot more money because the ratio is like one in 400 on them okay we got a what do i want to do next i want to do the speed demons 
uh, Speed Demon slash 25 we got. This is Alan Prost, uh, who, if you're into F1, you know who he is. Um, so I was stoked about that. And that's actually bookend, right? 25 out of 25. So that was pretty dope. I liked that. Uh, we pulled a slash 50 signed Arthur Leclerc. Uh, so the younger brother, I really wish it was a Charles. Um, all the signatures I've pulled, by the way, except for two, have been F2 drivers, which kind of, which kind of sucks, but hey, it is what it is. Here's a regular uh, signature. This is non-numbered. Um, this is just like, you know, this was a um, Kevin Magnuson signature that, that was my first F1 driver that I pulled, but in the, the super heat, way too see I pulled on that one. So, so I'm excited even, even about talking about it. Um, so we showed you the Leclerc, we showed you the pros, uh, so we showed you the Magnuson, we showed you the Celebration colorway, and then this was another one. Remember I talked about Brad? Boom. Pulled a sig of him slash 99. Gotta love that. That's holding on to that one for sure. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Here are our six highlights of the 12 hobby boxes. There's a really, really rare, again, go to the tutorial video. I keep plugging it. But there's a really, really rare insert called um, Turn It Up. We got one of them. Uh, it, unfortunately, it was a Kevin Magnuson who, I like him. I like the dude a lot. This is, The ratio on this is like crazy low and it's a gold. So it's a, to a slash 50. Um, so that for me out of the one, two, three, four, Five. That was number six. That was number six for me on our highlights, right? So six. Let's go into five. We finally pulled a constructor uh, constructor card, Crestor. It's Haas. It's the Haas F1 team. It's only to one ninety nine. I really wanted the Ferrari or the Red Bull. I'm just happy I actually got a constructor crest. To be honest, they're, they're very rare. Um, and I just love them, right? They're like little kind of passports. So I was just very grateful to get one um, because you don't see a lot of them around. So that was number five in the top six. Okay, the next one is going to be um, the Grand Dupree. Now, this is another super, super short insert, very high ratio. We pulled my favorite one, Miami. I love this card, man. It kind of looks Japanese a little bit, like with the sunset and stuff, but this is Miami. I love this card. I love this card. It doesn't sell for a huge amount on eBay. I think like 100 bucks or something, but I'll keep it just because I just think that is like a super sexy card. I'm stoked to get that. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess I'll do these. Okay, so that was top. Six, five, and four. Here's top three. Remember who we were talking about before? Oscar, what's up? Unfortunately, it's not signed. It is his rookie card though. And it's a gold, so it's a slash 50. So that card's worth a little bit of money right there. So stoked to get him. If that had been a signature version, oh, I would have woken up the whole house. So that I thought, uh, was really really cool okay here's our one of one and this see you can see here on the back this is a one of one this is the metal plate they use when they create the card right so they're very 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 rare um, we got the Theo uh, who's an F2 driver um, who actually I believe is in top of the stands in standings in F2 right now um, and it's metal right um, it, it's weird because it's backwards like it's not the most sexy card to look at by any means but it's a one of one and you know this is what they use to print all the cards so very unique right just i think it's cool they do it in uh nfl like the immaculate series and things like that um, but i thought it was cool that we pulled one again the ratio on these is super low um nice metal one of one and then i think the top card we pulled value wise uh, at least for me, according to eBay, um, was 
one of the greatest of all times. This is an orange. This is a slash 25. It's a bookend. 25 of 25. Card 25. This is a David Coulthard signed orange slash 25. And that on eBay is definitely hundreds of bucks, right? So that's not one that I'm going to sell. Um, that's your typical, like if you're into F1, you know who this guy is, right? I mean, the maybe Pross, Schumacher, a couple of others, right? But um, this guy's an absolute legend. And to pull a slash 25 of that sign for me, that was huge.